So let's look at how to make a successful pin for Pinterest using only AI, AI images and AI description. How do I do that? And do I even do that? So on my niche website, I do rely heavily on stock photos. I have a paid subscription to deposit photos. And when possible, I get those types of lifestyle photos that I need. Boho style, modern style, certain decor elements I can easily find on deposit photos. So for example, this is transform your living space with simple daily decluttering habit. All I needed was a very nice, clean, organized living room. And that's what I chose. But for this blog post that I wrote about pocket door styles, I needed to find pocket door images. And I could not find any paid stock photos that were pocket door specific. They were just regular doors. And I needed the look of a pocket door, right? It slides into the wall kind of thing. I could not find that. So I had to rely on AI images to generate those images. And that's what I did for this blog post. I have these four images that are pocket door styles. Now they're not the exact type of pocket door, but they're good enough for me that I can blend them into a pin like this. And it's people will look at it, look at the topic and then go to the post. And I do have actual pin images that show what a pocket door looks like. It slides into the wall. So there's no confusion about what I'm talking about. And FYI, if you need help on how to embed these images in your blog post, I do have a video on how to embed pin images images into your blog post. I use this when I can't find right photos to add to my blog post. I just use images that showcase that. So when looking at my profile here, you can see that, I mean, you may not notice, but a lot of these images were generated with AI. So this one right here, this screen, this one was generated through AI. Now, if you open it up, you can look closely like the wallpaper is kind of wonky or whatever this is, right? But as a pin, as you're scrolling, it doesn't resonate. Same thing with a lot of these Christmas ones, especially the Grinch one. I could not find Grinch related images. So I had to rely on AI. And so you can see here, these are all images, right? They don't have Grinch stock photos. So those were all created using AI. How do I do that? What do I do? What's the process? Let's look at how I create a successful pin with AI. So I use a variety of tools. I use Canva. Sometimes I use Canva for those images. They It does a better job than let's say I use Jasper for images. So let's try a rustic living room because I did have to create images through AI with a rustic bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, things like that. So let's try a rustic living room. So the first thing I do is I find the template here for my AI images and that's this one right here. I click add a page and then I go down here to apps and then go to magic media. And this is where I'll describe what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna just put something basic, a rustic living room with woods, with let's put wood furniture and fall colors. I'm gonna make this a photo and I don't care if it's square or portrait. I uh, usually I just use square for my pin images and my feature images anyways, so it's fine. It does take a few seconds. All right, so I can look quickly. I find something that I like and just visually see, is this what I want? It's very fallish. Not bad. This one is better. I like the look of that one. All right, so not bad. Let's get rid of wood furniture. A uh, rustic living room with a cozy rug. Let's try that. I will reiterate and reiterate until I get an image that is passable. And I need four of those because in my pin image, I do create four, but for this tutorial, I also create images with one image, as you saw with my K-pop bedroom pin. So I will just pick one that would represent a decor, like living room style. When these look from the little thumbnails look a lot better than before. So let's try that one. Oh, and that looks beautiful. It's a big couch. It's kind of wonky here with the darker color and lighter color. So it may not be good. And then the door in the background looks a little wonky. Let's try this style. Oh, and that looks nice. I actually like that one a lot. Um, nope. I think that one's the winner here because yep, even that one looks funky. So here you go. It's very simple. So I just blow it up like this. And then I change the name of the Pinterest post. Now, as you can see, as I'm blowing it up, you can see a lot of information imperfections, but it's 
not going to show on a pin image. So as long as it looks good as a thumbnail, slightly bigger, then I'm okay with that. Rustic living room ideas. All right, so I'm going to download it. One thing to note with Canva in particular, even though you pick this one image, when you go to your uploads section, it will generate all the ones that you asked it to. So not the one that you chose. So even though I created that image, I didn't have to because it was already here. I just realized. But normally this is what I do because I want to name it a certain name. All right, so from there, I pick a pin image. So I have templates here that I use. And if you are in need of templates like this, uh, make sure to look at my 52 stylized Canva pin graphic templates for bloggers. I do use a lot of these elements these types of design elements for my uh, font choices how big um, how to style them really helps me and so you can take a look at that bundle All right so let's just look at one uh, look at one that has just one image actually so here's one right here I duplicated that I'm going to remove this and by the way this is an AI generated uh, image too <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm going to pick the one that I liked, which was this one right here. And look at that. You can't even really tell of anything here. I don't know the number since I haven't written this post, but let's just say there's 18 rustic living room ideas. Okay. I would normally spend a bit more time on the topic and words to use. I might do something like 18 amazing rustic living room ideas. I may use 18 must have, you know, words that will generate clicks help. But for this demonstration, as long as I have the image, I have my URL, this works and I need to name this now. So rustic living room ideas. I'm going to download this as a JPEG. And this is where the fun begins with the other way I use AI. So once this is download, I need to go and upload this to Pinterest. And I do that under create, create pin. I'm going to drag it there. So I'm gonna upload it and then I have the title description. This is what I can use AI. Sometimes I don't use the title that it gives me, but sometimes I do. It depends on my mood for the day. And I like to use Jasper. I don't use ChatGPT for this. I like Jasper because there is a specific template. And so I don't have to do much. I just have to plug in my, my topic and it will generate how many in descriptions I want. So I'm gonna do new from template. I'm going to go to social media up here on the top. And then I'm gonna find Pinterest, which is down here. Pinterest pin title and description. So tell us what the pin is about. The pin is about rustic living room ideas that you can use in a small home or apartment. That's all I wanna mention. Sometimes I might mention specific products, but this is what I have. You can use the keyword or the main topic that you're writing about so that it's included in the pin title. The company or product name I don't normally fill out and then and with my voice I've already filled this out with Jasper. Once you sign up to Jasper you can set some voices so I do have some voices for sponge hacks. My avatar for that is Maria. I have an output of three choices that I can use for this so let's just see what the three are. All right so I have the pin title cozy rustic living room ideas for small spaces which is actually quite nice. I like that that one. I do see that they have hashtags. Hashtags are not relevant on Pinterest, but that's fine. I don't need to include it, but I like the title of this. And so since this is a list post, I'm going to make sure to put 18 there. And then for the description, I might choose something else. I like this one here. So let's just do that one. So transform your small home or apartment into the perfect cozy retreat with these charming rustic living room ideas. Get inspired by these creative tips and tricks to create a warm and living inviting space from vintage accents and natural textures. Elevate your living room to a whole new level of comfort and style. Great. I like all of that. And then I would put the link, whatever it is. Right now I don't have the post for it. I don't think I do. Let me just check real quick actually. Okay, these are decor ideas. I don't have it for like actual living room, but let's just use that. So I'll just use it for uh, what I have here. Choose a board, something small, apartment living. And then if there's tags, meaning I guess this is how they categorize pins on Pinterest. It doesn't mean that if you can't find that term that it won't get found. A lot of the blogging terms aren't on here, even work at home stuff, but um, decor and fashion, things like that you would find. But oh, 
Sometimes if you don't fill in the whole word, word you can find it. So rustic home decor there. You can try again. Rustic bathroom, cabin, recipes, table, modern. And then I can do living room, minimalist, luxury, modern, small. There you go. So this is what I would do to create a successful pin that's AI focused with an AI image in the background, an AI title and description, and then I would publish this. So let's just publish it for the sake of publishing, and then we can view it right there. Perfect. So it aligns with my topics here, the style that I use for Pinterest. And over time, hopefully that post will get some clicks. But if you need some more help, I do have a brand new book out called 15 Genius Pinterest Secrets for Bloggers. It is brand new. I do have a little bit of a sales page here. If you find that your Pinterest growth is just not happening right now, things are changing on Pinterest. It took me a while to figure that out, but I have a book with these little secrets that are not well known known as well as some tips on how to monetize that traffic once you get those clicks so i have this for you it's brand new i want you to pick it up learn these secrets and you can apply them today once you start the first one and go to the second and the third you will start using them and hopefully see some changes in the next 30 to 60 days of your pinterest profile so there you go let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about designing a pin using a I'm not the one